Hello everyone! Have you ever tried to make a cauliflower casserole? It's easier to prepare than you might think and tastes just amazing. Some people use this casserole as a side dish, but I think it can easily serve as a light dinner. Especially the version that I'm about to show you today, since it also contains bacon and potatoes. The ingredients list for this recipe is pretty short. You can see all of them on the screen right now. And before we start cooking, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my future recipes. To cut the baking time a little bit, we need to pre-cook both the potatoes and cauliflower. Since the potatoes take a longer time, let's start with those. Cut two larger potatoes into cubes and cook them in salted water for about 10 minutes. Next comes the cauliflower. I'm using one medium-sized head. We need to remove the main stalk and break the cauliflower down into individual florets. I prefer smaller pieces, so I simply use my hands to take care of that. Now add the cauliflower into the same pot where our potatoes have been cooking for 10 minutes and let them boil together for about 7 more minutes. Let's use this time to make our sauce. Grab a big bowl and crack 2 eggs into it. Go on with a generous amount of salt and freshly ground pepper. Add 2.5 ounces of parmigiano, 5 ounces of mozzarella, 5 ounces of sour cream and a touch of chili. I love fresh basil, so I'm adding quite a bit. The last sauce ingredient is nutmeg, just a touch to improve the aroma. Mix everything together properly to make sure all the flavors combine and the salt dissolves and our sauce is ready. Drain the cauliflower and potatoes and add all of them into the bowl with our sauce. Mix properly but gently and try not to break the florets too much. Using 2 tablespoons works really well to get this done. Brush an oven safe casserole with some olive oil and pour the mixture in. Spread it out a little bit to make sure we have an even layer. Top it up with finely chopped bacon and feel free to use as much as you like. One last touch of black pepper and we are ready to bake. Cover the casserole with aluminum foil and bake at 400 Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius for 20 minutes. Once this time has passed, take it out of the oven and let's proceed with the final step. Add two finely chopped spring onions to give this dish an extra layer of fresh flavor and wrap it up with a nice amount of cheese. This time I'm using grated cheddar and it's roughly 5 ounces again. Put the casserole back into the oven, turn the heat up to 500 Fahrenheit or 250 Celsius and give it about 10 more minutes. Once the cheese browns lightly, we are done. You can speed this up by using the broiling mode, just make sure the cheese won't burn. And now it's time for a taste test. I have to say it turned out great. Thanks for watching and see you next time.